face is hairy. He's a Belgian Malinois. That's yes, he's about seven and a half years old. We're responsible for border security, stopping the flow of narcotics. He, he really likes to work. I mean, he's, he's nonstop. Uh, but we're also responsible to facilitate the flow of trade and business. Good boy, buddy. We have our canine officers who are also out there screening vehicles uh, for either hidden people or narcotics. So this is a Nogales port of entry, uh, uh, largest port of entry in Arizona. Very busy port of entry along the southwest border. He's telling me when he's alerting, you know. Our top priorities are preventing terrorists. It's pulling me back. It makes me wonder, you know, if there's something else that's in here. The second big one right now has been uh, opioids. So seizure of opioids. Opioids. Usually it it's behind the glove box. Affect every community in America. It's not a border problem. It's a national problem. Any way you can think of, it's smuggled in. In food, on persons, uh, shoes, compartments. They're creative. They're very creative on how they do it. Just letting them search right now. Fentanyl is a dangerous, the most dangerous of all these uh, drugs that we're dealing with. Fentanyl is a very strong opioid. Hey, stop, stop. We get it in body carriers walking through. I'd say around 11 o'clock, 11.30, an officer approached me and asked me to um, conduct a canine search of the vehicle with Harry. He alerted to her, um, the groin area, and from there they conducted a pat down, which resulted in, you know, in I think 262 grams of meth and 75 grams of fentanyl. I said, boys, good boy. There's a very small percentage that are coming here either to try to do us harm or to introduce dangerous narcotics into the country.